Well, hi, I'm Will Branch, and welcome to uh, Guitar Ground Rules, which is what I'm calling this series of lessons. Um, my idea here is to get you started um, with the fastest way um, that I know how to start getting some satisfying music out of the guitar. I'm going to be passing along all the things that I've picked up over uh, about 25 years of playing guitar. And um, I'm going to assume that you don't know anything about the guitar. If, you, if you've been playing for a while, then this will be review, but maybe there'll be a, a thing or two that, that uh, you didn't know. Everything I'm talking about is going to apply equally to the electric guitar and the acoustic guitar. Um, this is a, uh, an acoustic dreadnought guitar. And um, just real briefly, we have the body of the guitar right here, the neck, and the top of the neck is called the fingerboard, where you put your fingers. This is called the headstock, this whole part of the guitar. And on the headstock are the tuners. This is a six string guitar, so we have six, six strings, six tuners. Um, it's an acoustic guitar, so the body has a sound hole where the, the sound comes out. And we've got a pick guard here so that you don't scratch up your, your, the body of your guitar. Now, when we get down to the actual place where you're making the music, um, the strings have two ends. Um, one is called the nut, which is a piece of plastic or bone right here, and uh, that's where this, the sound is starting. Past the, past the nut, you just get these little tinkly sounds. And then down here we have the bridge. Um, the bridge has a special part called the saddle sitting, inside, sitting in it, and that is where the strings are resting. Those are the two ends of the, of the strings, um, the nut and the saddle. This acoustic guitar has bridge pins which hold the strings in. There's a lot of different kinds of bridges. Um, and most importantly for us are the pieces of metal that are set inside into the wood of the fingerboard, and those are the frets. Um, it can be a little confusing that the, the technical term for the actual piece of metal is fret. These are actual pieces of metal that are hammered into the uh, fingerboard. But when we talk about frets, we're actually talking about the space uh, on this side of each fret. So this would be the nut, this would be the first fret, this would be the second fret. And what we're going to do when we play guitar is put our finger on a string inside this space. So this space would be considered the first fret. Depending on what kind of guitar you have, you're going to have fret markers on different frets. Um, this guitar has got fret markers on the 5th, 7th, 9th, 12th fret. And up here we have the uh, 15th and uh, 17th fret. You should also have some markers on the top of your fingerboard. Um, a lot of guitars have a marker on the 3rd fret, 5th fret, 7th fret, 9th fret, and 12th fret. Um, almost all guitars have two dots on the 12th fret. 12th fret is a really important one, so we'll talk about that. And um, that is really the fundamentals of the parts of the guitar. You can see the way I'm holding it, which is sometimes called um, folk, folk style, uh, sort of the most relaxed way to play the guitar, resting the curved part on my right leg. And um, this is fairly comfortable. Um, I'm going to be using this to show you most of the, most of the techniques today. Um, the other way to play the guitar would be like this, so rest, your, rest the guitar on your other leg, and I've got my... Uh, left foot kind of resting on top of my right foot, which is on its side. Um, this is uh, closer to the, this would be called classical style. They actually sell little stools where you could put your foot on a stool. Um, this is actually technically better for your arm and for your, for your wrist uh, in the long run. But I'm assuming that if you're not playing guitar 12 hours a day yet, um, this should serve you well. And while we're on the subject, I've got a strap holding the guitar up. And if I just take my arms off the guitar, my hands off the guitar, there's actually a little tiny bit of clearance between my leg and the guitar. The reason why that's important is that if I stand up and want to play standing up, you might find yourself performing standing up. Um, the relationship with the guitar to my body doesn't change at all. And that matters a lot. Uh, a few inches can make a big difference. Um, so, um, for that matter, the strap tends to keep you um, 
in a good position posture wise, which is the next thing we need to talk about. How how you are going to interact with the guitar. Once you have the guitar um, sitting in your lap like this, maybe you've got a strap, hopefully you've got a strap set up for you. Um, there's a lot of important angles here, and one of them is the body of the guitar should be perpendicular to the floor. When you're starting, you're going to be really inclined to go like this with the guitar so you can see what you're doing. That is just going to cause a whole lot of problems. Um, with your wrist and and you're really putting a strain on on your your wrist that way so as much as you can keep the guitar straight up and down like that and your left arm should be relaxed starting with the shoulder so you want your shoulder to be nice and relaxed your elbows should be swinging free not pulled in close to your body you want there to be some space there there's even guitar players that talk about um putting a pillow between your your elbow and your body to train yourself to keep keep an angle there. Um, your elbow is free of your body, and then your wrist is not cranked around. Your wrist should be as smooth um, as it possibly can. You have a lot of tendons in your wrist um, that are controlling your fingers. You're putting a lot of you're putting your tendons through a lot of um, work when you play guitar. The more that you um, put a, a crimp or an angle in your wrist, the more strain you're putting those tendons under. So as much as you can, you're trying to keep this part of your arm between your hand and your forearm fairly straight. Um, so the way you do that is, again, starting with the relaxation of your shoulder and your elbow. And um, I'm able to come around and reach the strings without having to put a big angle, a big, uh, angle in my wrist. My thumb is on the back of the neck and my fingers are curved. Another thing to visualize is if your palm is uh, choked up on the neck, that's another thing that's going to limit the movement of your fingers. So you should imagine that you were able to put a ping pong ball uh, or an egg in the palm of your hand that's the amount of clearance that should be between the palm of your hand and the neck of the guitar. So the only things that are ca contacting the neck are my thumb on the back and my, the tips of my fingers. And my fingers are, are curved. So I'm playing a chord, which we haven't gotten to yet. But um, that is some of the basics of posture. Now, I'm going to show you the absolute worst posture. And so maybe you can help. This will help you troubleshoot. Let's imagine I've never played guitar before. I'm going to hold it like this. I'm going to hunch way over so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to crank my arm. And then the other thing you really want to watch out for is you're going to feel like you want to rest your elbow on your uh, leg, like this. Um, you're probably bound to do some of those things as you're starting out, but those are all things to avoid as much as possible. Try not to, try not to get some bad habits out, you know, out of the starting gate. And, um, that is pretty much the basics of holding the guitar. Um, all that being said, it's really important to be comfortable with the guitar and have fun with the guitar. So if you find yourself lying, slouching back on your couch with your guitar, that's, that's all right. Um, it's better to spend as much time as possible with your guitar uh, than to feel like you have to get into a very rigid um, position every time. For this series of lessons, we're not talking about classical guitar where there's some um, extremely rigid rules about technique. My goal is to get you very comfortable with the guitar and playing as fast as possible um, without injuring yourself and without running into a ton of frustration. Um, we're going to try and avoid frustration as much as we can, uh, as much as that's possible.